Got some tension on it. Sadie and Butter supervising. She's gonna go make sure that everything's safe. So they're going over their lift plan right now. Make sure this thing doesn't shift around on them. They got their strong backs on their vertical legs so that'll keep those things from swaying so they had it up they got to adjust the uh, slings a little bit Shift it a little. a lot of weight I bet you that weighs over 5,000 I'm gonna ask Ian when we get down there Very delicate. Definitely have to have a lot of patience here with this. It doesn't just stand right up like you would think. You gotta get your slings in the right spot, especially with the oddball angle like that is. It's not symmetrical on both sides. So it's got similar weight on either side, but it's not exact. So once he gets it completely off the ground, you know, one side may dip a little lower. Okay, he's got it fully airborne here. So he's got to get his guys on it and then hand signal the crane at the same time because the crane's blind. And we got to slip it right out here to this outside edge. Very, very careful with all the movements right now. And the wind's not really helping either.
All right, they got the first all thread down in the hole. And you got it right over the hole. They got it in. Yeah, for sure. I got it. I can set it down. Need a bigger hammer. Real tight right there. There you go. Ah, got it. Okay, there's the first piece set into position, almost on the ground here. Just gonna put a brace on it and lower it down. Stadium butter ready to go. So they got firmly on the ground here. Both sides in. He's right, he's where he wants to be. And uh, we're on the morning of day two with this timber. Like I said, it's going a little slower than they'd like. Uh, it's pretty tough uh, fitting everything together here. So we're gonna get out of here. We're gonna let them. Uh, they're gonna build their next section on the ground, and we'll we'll come back and check in on progress uh, later on this afternoon. Good morning, everyone. Today is the start of day three with our timber frame. We're gonna run up there and check the job and see how those guys made progress. Uh, through yesterday it was a little slow going but they were finally getting through it and um got to get all that timber up and then start getting the sips panels up so it's gonna be a, a push to get this thing where it needs to be by the end of the week today's thursday let's go check it out some clouds coming over the top of the mountain there a little windy Well, they got scaffolding up. It's still just that one frame. I'm gonna go up here and see what they have built on the ground up here. Definitely a massive timber frame there. Three levels of scaffolding. Oh no, two. No, three, eh, two. Okay, so. This is the first piece up and braced. Here's the second one, which goes pretty much right here. And then it's got some cross ties. There's still quite a bit more on the ground. Basically everything down here is all timber stuff, so they got a ways to go. Pretty impressive, I'll have to say. Can't wait to see the whole thing up. Uh, it's going to be quite the 
structure. Hopefully these start going together a little smoother. We've been having a lot of issues here. I think it's just cause uh, this stuff's been here for about two years on site. The guy, the owner ordered, they got a little ambitious and then, you know, uh, we had a big winter and then just other unforeseen things that um, led to this project not really getting off the ground until this year. So, <clears throat> I think it was the swelling and expansion contraction of all this over the two years of sitting up here on site just made it really uh, a little tougher to fit it together. <clears throat> so, anyhow, we're gonna go keep making our rounds, our early morning rounds before people get to the job. So we kind of know where everything's at for the day and uh, get ready for another beautiful day here in Mammoth. It looks like that wind is back at it again. It's been quite a bit uh, the last couple weeks. That wind's pretty prevalent. This is not good. Yeah, we can't be leaving food out on the job. I gotta let them know. <laughs> Those guys are from Idaho. They should know that. right now take a look at the progress We got a lot of guys on site today. Pretty much got this thing all sanded in. They're uh, putting the chairs on the rebar in the back, back here. Got it boxed out for the depressions. Uh, slip through the drains here. So it's a mad dash to the finish here. Tomorrow and Monday, gotta get this thing wrapped up. Pour it on Tuesday, Wednesday. So we're a little bit less than one third done. Controlled chaos going on, just trying to get everything dialed in as we can 